because this is key to the defense, right? She was fearful for her life, and that's why she did what she did. Yeah, I disagree with Joey a little bit because I think this testimony is very fundamental for the defense. Everything that Jody Harry has testified to were predicate facts for what these experts are now going to put before the jury. And sure, in rebuttal, the state can put its own expert, but if they don't, if the jury does not believe uh, these experts, there is no defense to this case. So I think that it's very important the case can fall apart. Uh, likely not on direct of them, but on the cross-examination, if the jury is getting the idea that these experts don't know what they're talking about or making it up or exaggerating, uh, then there is no defense. And, th and that's above and beyond the fact that Juan Martinez is going to make the very salient point, if Jody Arias is lying to these experts, then everything that they say in their opinion is meaningless. Got it. Okay, uh, again, we know that Dr. Samuels is going to go with post-traumatic stress disorder, and because of that, it affects the brain. We know that argument's coming down the pike. Uh, you guys weigh in on Facebook. Eleanor says, Jody's only claim to PSD is pitiful tale of self defense. Uh, and we want to hear from you, by the way. Uh, call us up, one 877 tell hln Your questions at this point, your thoughts less than a half than a half hour from now. Uh, one of the keys, we just talked about it, had our uh, rudimentary reenactment there of the 62 seconds. I want to get our experts weighing in on that. Jeff Gold, a great attorney who's been following this case. Was it powerful the way Juan Martinez did it? And will Kirk Nurmi try and counter and kind of do a reenactment like we did in court as this thing closes out? Well, he may in, 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 in closing, but it was powerful. Uh that Juan did it. It was powerful the way it happened. It happened because of jury questions. Isn't it amazing that we went through, you know, 18 days, 17 and a half days, you know, of testimony. And this really was Juan Martinez focusing in that at the end of all the direct, at the end of all the cross-examination, the jury was still focused exactly where they should be on how this murder happened and whether or not what Jody Arias said could have happened, and by looking at those jury questions, Juan was able to look inside the mind of the jury, and I think it was extremely powerful for that reason. He was answering the jury's questions. Yeah, many saying that that was a closing argument in and of itself. Uh, maybe jump the gun with it, but powerful uh, nonetheless. Joey Jackson with us as well. Joey, you got a chance to poor, frail Jody, so maybe she could connect with a juror through that, right? Well, absolutely, and if you bring this back to uh, the case being about the death penalty, her connecting with that jury, her getting the jury to believe that Travis was dirty in some way, that's all very important. Uh, you know, I mean, that's, you know, if she's connected to that, then, you know, maybe a juror has connected to that. That's just what, you know, Jody and her attorneys want. Uh, these experts that are on uh, uh, today are uh, important, very important. But I'll tell you what, if she's connected with the jury, that's just equally as important. Got it. All right, we got more calls.